The Last of Us Episode 2. Spoilers for this episode. Man, I really enjoyed last week's episode. It was, it was a thing that I kind of just thought about all week. And then when we finally get to this episode and that amazing opening where that woman's in this restaurant, she comes in, these people come in, they take her, and you think, okay, wait, they're arresting her. She thinks she's being arrested. But no, she's brought in for some expertise about one of the first infected humans. You, she, so they ask her, what do you think we should do here? Oh, she goes, oh, there's nothing. You can't do nothing here. Bomb this place. Kill everyone in it. There's no medicine. There's no vaccine. There's no cure for this shit. Get everybody out. Bomb it. And you're like, holy shit. And then we cut back to our heroes and just kind of what's going on with, with that one girl's bite we saw in the last week's episode. We see how her bite is healing, not affecting her. And so we see that she could possibly be a cure for things going down later in the show, maybe. I don't know. Very creepy, you know. Very interesting. So then there's that, and then you get to, you know, seeing the clickers for the first time. That's a really, really horrific sequence in part of the show. Man, terrifying. I, you know, I've seen those designs in the sh and, and like in videos before. I've never actually just seen what they look like in full force. Terrifying. I, jeez. Um, and then you get to the part, uh, part of the episode where one girl sacrifices herself. And I really like that part of the episode because you see why Joel's still alive. You see the fact that Joel just doesn't have attachments. And that can make him a hard character to root for because, like, you got this woman who's saying goodbye to him. Doesn't even say goodbye. He just runs the shit out of there. Runs out, right? That can almost make him seem unlikable because as, a, like, an audience, if we had someone we were close to who would die... In that scenario, we'd want to say goodbye to them. We'd be upset, but he, but he shows a lack of emotion. But it's really through his lack of emotion that we get his emotion, which is that he's a character who's damaged by this post-apocalypse. He's lost people. He can't be, you know, attached to these people because if he keeps getting attached, he will eventually just succumb to the apocalypse and it just... He will just die, you know? And so that makes him a hard character to root for. He has a character, he's a character that's shady, does things that might seem, you know, off-putting to an audience member at certain points, but maybe that's the right call. Maybe it's not. I don't know. But in these scenarios that the show takes place in, it's about making those hard choices. And it makes it a really fascinating concept for a character to go through writing-wise and acting-wise and all the performances here continue to be really strong just a really solid episode of this show and i cannot wait to see what this shit happens next week because man this episode was even better than the last of us sorry i had to do it